Hello and welcome to the Lazybrook Farm. My name is Mark, and today we're going to get this garage door working, even if it takes a few days. This is a standard garage door that I'm sure you're all used to. The track's headed straight out from the door and got in the way whenever I put a vehicle on the lift. So my plan is to extend the track and then follow the roof line to make sure it's out of the way. I had to play it by ear when I was lining up the track because I didn't really have the mounts yet because I didn't know exactly where the track was going to go. I did have a lot of extra track so I just went ahead and started cutting. I got pretty lucky and everything for the most part fit pretty well. Now it's time to assemble. The hinges are numbered, low numbers on the bottom, high numbers on the top. After the door's assembled, it's time to weigh it. You need to know the exact weight so that you can get the right size springs for your door. I drilled and tapped this metal cross beam here to support the spring plate. I've always had problems keeping a tap stable in the little T-handle they give you, so I'd load the tap into the chuck of the drill and use that so I can keep a constant pressure and rotate it in and out. You got to be really careful and go very slow. Here I'm pointing out the direction of the winding of the spring because it does matter greatly. Each spring is wound a different direction. If it's on the wrong side, it'll just spin and it won't be able to lift your door. Unfortunately, I know this one from experience. I do have to give a shout out to the guys at DDM Garage Door. They were extremely helpful. Had me go through all of the calculations and measurements to find out the exact right size pulleys and springs I needed for my door. Most other garage door places don't even know how to calculate this stuff. I'll put a link to their website in the description. They've got a lot of good tools and information there. Another tip I learned is you can adjust the amount of slack in this cable by rotating the drum to help level the door as it goes up and down. Adding a little bit of spray paint will help you count how many times you've wound that spring. It's really important for these springs to keep them balanced. I ended up needing to wind the springs about 14 times each to get the balance just right. Fantastic. You have no idea how satisfying this is. Well, 50% success. Next time on the Laserbrook Farm, I'll be fixing this and a couple other problems like that. 